Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about a function in Final Script that you will need to use when you have to perform iterative tasks. And this function is the for loops in Final Script. So if we just go ahead and start talking about the for loop, then let's understand the for loop by calculating the simple moving average of the candles within a given period. For example, if we want to calculate the simple moving average of the last 14 candles, then what we would do is we would take the close of all these candles, all these 14 candles, and then divide them by 14 to get the simple moving average. Now, one way to do this is get close manually by indicating, by mentioning a separate variable for each close of the, each candle. So this would be like close one is equal to close close two is equal to close of the previous candle and so on. So we we'll go till the 14th candle. But this is not very efficient way to mention or to get the data of all these candles. So instead of this what we can do is we can use the for loop because we want to get the close of each candle in within a given period and we want to perform this calculation at every new bar so what we would do is we would use the for loop now let's go ahead and see the implementation of for loop for calculating the simple moving average and i'm going to paste the code step by step and explain it to you how it's working so if we just go ahead and paste the first few lines of the code then you can see we are giving a version directive then we are mentioning we want to make an indicator then here we are assigning or we are defining a length variable to give the length for which we want to calculate the simple moving average and then after that what we can do is we can go ahead and create a custom function to calculate the simple moving average. So here you can see that this is a calculate simple moving average and inside here we are giving it an argument of length and here the simple moving average is equal to zero. So now we are using the for loop to loop between all these 14 candles and get the close of each candle and then give it to the sum. So this is the syntax of using for loop is this first of all there should be variable declaration and then here we have to mention the counter and form and two number and then after that we can also give a step giving a step is optional so here you can see for in this case the for let me just decrease the size a little bit so you can see here is the for here is the counter is equal to the form number and then two length minus one and then we could give it a step and then it would take that step for example if i give it a step of two then i'm just go ahead and mention the step inside here by two so now what it would do is it would start at zero then it would go it would skip the one and go to two and then after that in the second it third iteration it would go to skip the three and go to four so the step is how many uh, numbers we want to skip or how many iterations we want to skip so in this example we are not going to use this step so now let's go ahead and here you can see that we are giving a sum variable we are reassigning it a value of sum plus close of i now i within each iteration will be different for example for the first iteration the i would be zero and we are getting the latest candles close in the second iteration the i would be one and then we would be getting the close of this candle similarly in the third iteration the i would be two and we would be getting close of this candle so that's how we would go till the 13 candles and we would be assigning this to a sum and then here we are dividing the sum by length to get the simple moving error now let's go ahead and plot these reserves onto the chart First, we have to call this function that we have created. So we have created the SMA value function. And then here we are calling this function on this length that we are taking as input. 
and after that we are plotting this value onto the chart now if i just go ahead and save it and add this to the chart you will be able to see that we are getting the simple moving average of the period that we have given in the setting we can go ahead and change this period if we decrease the length or the period then our oscillator would become more reactive to the closed prices of the candles and if we increase it it will become more smooth for example if i make it 21 then you will see it will move far away from the candle so that's how you can use a for loop in time script to iterate over a number of iterations if you want to if, if there are multiple calculations that you have to do and repetitive calculations you can just use a for loop and start it by the counter and then assign that counter within your calculations to get all the data that you need for those iterations so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video thank you